Hey. Hi, this is Maddie. It's been almost 11 months. I never talk like this, but I'm gonna start trying to talk like this because for some reason, many things in my life just aren't working out okay. And I'm gonna switch things up. So that's not actually completely true. So today I'm gonna give a quick download on everything that's happened over the last, let's say 11 months. And yeah, just how I'm feeling right now. And I think one thing that really jumped out to me is uh, is how I've stepped away from filming on YouTube. And I think a part of that is because of fear and fear of, you know, would it impact my work? And I work in a big corporate, corporate world, uh, corporate America, uh, and I'm afraid sometimes that when I express myself and express my opinions and, and try to be authentic that it doesn't necessarily show up and it's not always received very well. So, the, and we're also living in a very polar world. So that's one reason that I've like created a few videos over the last 11 months, but I just haven't had enough momentum. And I think like the second reason is, is because yeah, uh, I, life has been busy and I've really prioritized a lot of things. I moved to New York two years ago and it's been generally really good for my professional and from a, a, a LGBT perspective, LGBTQ plus perspective. So yeah, it's been really, really nice being here in the city and I've been involved with so many great organizations. Start Out, which is an LGBTQ focused organization. Um, I'm involved with our Pride organization at work, which, you know, we do a few events here and there, have a wonderful Pride celebration during the summer. Um, and then just plugging into some of the other larger groups that we have here, like for example, Open Finance and a few others. So um, yeah, I feel like last year was, really an impactful year. It was probably one of the strongest years that I've had in, in my career, which I'm very grateful for. Um, and as we turn the page from 2023 to 2024, uh, there's still a lot of things, and I want to take that word back, but there are a lot of things that, or there are a few things that I have that are really important to me that I'm just not making progress on. And I, I really don't know what to do, which direction to go. Um, I feel like I'm kind of stuck. One is like with work and within my current group, I didn't get a promotion this year. It was very aggressive to get one. I felt like I had an amazing year, both professionally inside the company and then also outside the company. So I was a little disappointed there. And then the second is um, with my personal life and personal family life. And I feel like I, put a lot of energy and time into the LGBTQ uh, plus causes as well as uh, my career and put like a huge weight on that. Um, and, uh, and I put my, uh, you know, building a family on the side, uh, on the burner, the, the side burner, back burner, that's the one. So I put it on the back burner and yeah, and I don't know, I, I felt like I did a lot of work for that and I did a lot of research in the beginning of the year um, and looked at a lot of different uh, options, planned a bunch, like considered my financials, what situations would work. But then when I got down to it and talked to a few single moms, uh, when I got down to it, it was like, okay, well, yeah, the, the single moms, you know, they felt a little lonely when they were doing it. And, and yeah, I, I, I would hate to be a parent and have that responsibility and also carry that loneliness with it. And not and maybe not loneliness is the right word, but maybe not having somebody to share those little special moments with. And, and that's the thing that maybe I put it on pause. It, yeah, dating for me has been uh, generally pretty poor. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I like, clear, clearly, I, I don't know. I just, I'm stuck in the dating scene for sure. And like, I'm stuck and I don't know where to go. I, not making any matches um, and not having any successful dates. And it's really co quite head scratching from my side. I'm, you know, generally pretty active, generally pre pretty average when it comes to a lot of different things. and. Um, 
but dating women and cis and trans women has been really hard uh, to find people. So yeah, um, yeah, so, so I haven't been able to find people still uh, over the last 11, 12 months um, in order to move, move building a family forward. So um, I just wanted to share a few of those updates. Um, I think in general, like life is, is really solid and on most days I'm like around a seven. So there are those days where it dips down to a four and then there are those days where it goes up to a nine. I haven't had any tens yet, but I've had some amazing days uh, this past year. So yeah, but I've also had some very uh, depressive days um you know kind of a little bit of a hopelessness and actually i just got back from a vacation um down to colombia which was freaking amazing and um yeah i was in colombia it was amazing uh it was the reset that i actually that i needed um because i was getting so tight and wrapped up within the things that are going on here in new york and sometimes you just uh let it go, right? And just relax and uh, enjoy, you know, the sunsets and uh, enjoy the simpler things, enjoy connecting with people. It reminded me that, you know, I have a lot to offer and, and there are really amazing people that want to learn, like uh, traveling with and meeting all these amazing people is so cool. So yeah, um, I, I, I think just a general update at this point. So, I'm gonna sign off now.